Well, summer is just around the corner and most people are thinking about where their next vacation is going to be. However, is it possible to go away and still make healthy choices? Well, our next guest, he's nodding yes. Tommy Herrick, <laughs> welcome and thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So, Bianca is going away on a big vacation and yes. she's a little worried about Scotland, staying Scotland, Ireland. Health. Yeah. Good We're, beer there. Good beer. There's yeah. good beer. Mm -hmm. Lots but of healthy food too. Lots of healthy food. There's lots of different things you can do when you're going on vacation. And some people, when they go away, they come back, they're 10, 20 pounds heavier. But we're not going to let that happen, are we? Right. Yes. You better not. Because the show must go on. That's so true. No, no. Yeah. And I'm going to take all these tips very seriously. So what do we have first? So some just simple things to follow. Portion size is key. Okay. So, and when I'm saying that, when you look in that bowl of pasta, which we're going to talk about after, mm -hmm. Would you say you would have more, less, or well, is that about are, right? Are we having stuff with it? Well, it's going to have some sauce. I'm just th that's just the pasta. I'd say it's a little. I'm going to have the whole thing. Okay. Vacation Peter might have the whole thing, yeah. but regularly I'd probably have about half of that. I think. So, yes. Ding 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 ding. All right, I win. That is a double portion. Mm -hmm. So <gasps> portion size is key, and when you're on vacation, especially because you do have time, you're relaxing, you're checking things out. Mm -hmm. Really watch what you're eating. Um, this thing that I have here is called the Vita Dish, which kind of separates your portions into your proteins, carbs, and fats, okay. so that it makes it nice and easy. You can carry it with you. It's got the, the lid there. It's got snack like things also. Um, and I just find it's really, really easy to kind of stick to uh, certain portions mm -hmm. for that. Lots of vegetables. Right. Fruits and veggies. You can still have fun, but just make sure you're doing the right thing. So I can still have the bangers and mash, just a small portion of that. Small portion of bangers and mash, Got it. followed by a long walk. Long right. walk to the next pub. To the next right. pub. Yeah, pub crawl. Go, yeah. Pub crawl. Right. Pub crawl. What do we have here? Now, sugar. This Got is it. cola. Mm -hmm. In one can of cola, how many grams of sugar do you think is in it? Was it something like 15 Nine? or 20 or something crazy? Over 40 grams of sugar. Holy wow. crap. So you were close. <laughs> so when people are having mixed drinks and things like that, when they're on vacation, try and stay away from them as much as possible, you know, especially the stuff like the margaritas and the tropical type drinks are right. worse because they're very, very high in sugar. Mm -hmm. Now, on a daily average, we should only be having somewhere between six to seven uh, teaspoons of sugar per day. That's wow. about six or seven packets. Okay. Okay. Each of those packets represents about five grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. So keeping that in mind, everything you're eating, all the carbs and everything does get uh, digested and does turn into sugar or glucose. Right. So you want to make sure that you're not having too much. And the reason of, of the spike of type 2 diabetes, on average, Canadians consume about 26 teaspoons of sugar per Ooh. day. Crazy. Wow. wow. I'm, I'm guilty of it sometimes, too. Well, it's hidden, too. I mean, I had no idea yeah. that there was sugar in ketchup, for example, and there sugar is quite in a bit. just about everything, because yeah. it all gets broken down as well. So you don't want to be crushing six packs of Coke on vacation, no. rum and Cokes, but like a, maybe like a vodka soda? Is that a little better option? Okay, for how about this? Because I heard Vegas earlier, and I'm then obviously Vegas. you're going to Europe, so, yeah. you know, have a drink, have a glass of water. Have oh. a drink, have a glass of water. I like that. Have a drink, have a glass of water. Yeah, we got I'll it. Try. I'll you got it? Sorry. I got <laughs> it. All right, I'll try. And what's this now? This is a cleanse? So this is called Daily Cleanse, and basically it's a, it's a food, it's something that you can add to your, your food, whether it's granola, cereal, things like that, and it, uh, it has fiber in it, which is very, very important, and we, all ha we don't get enough fiber. Right. And now, aside, everyone knows fiber will keep you regular, mm -hmm. but it will also keep you full. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to keep yourself um, feeling full, yeah have some more fiber. Now, with that said, you need to have enough water. So while we're talking about some of the other things, I'm gonna get you just to mix this. All right. Okay. And so I like adding things to my diet rather than taking them away, so I like the fact that this is something I can it's, add Yeah, it's very easy, you can add it to your diet, and the thing about fiber, it expands. So uh -huh. as you, the more fiber you eat, it expands into your stomach, so you're gonna feel fuller for a longer period of time, leaving you less likely to crave or binge on some of the, some of the bad foods. And the reason that fiber is so good for you as it goes down your, your, uh, through your intestines and everything, it's fiber, so it's grabbing things along the way and kind of cleaning you out, and uh, uh -huh. it's great lowering, uh, for lowering cholesterol, and as you can see, the longer it sits in there, the more it kind of soaks up. So add some fiber while you're doing your, uh, your crawls. All what right. Is, yeah, what does this taste like? I'm just curious. Try it. Try it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> can I put Mikey some brown sugar? Likes it. <laughs> If you sprinkle a little bit of it on your cereal, if you have uh, granola, if you have oatmeal, um, any types of foods like that. I like that. I could do that. Yeah. Um, you can put it in a shake as well. It's Ooh. awesome in a shake. Perfect. But again, making sure that you do not let it sit. 
because as you can see, the longer it sits, it's getting little the thicker it gets. Congealed there. Maybe yeah. throw and, it. And with that said, the more fiber you have, the more water you have to drink. So, okay, so quickly. Really quickly last thing. Last yeah. thing here. Yogurt. Yes. Right for probiotics, anytime I go on vacation in a different country, I always have yogurt, so it kind of gets my body acclimatized to the different types of foods that I'm going to be eating, leaving you less likely to getting sick and any issues. Love it. Go. I love yogurt, so that's a good one. Bianca, no excuses. No excuses. Come back, do some exercise, careful in the sugar, portion control. Bring that little plate to a restaurant, maybe give it to the cook, and then... Yeah, tell yeah. them to You're serve you up. Thank you, you Tommy. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, working out is also a key factor in keeping healthy, and Tommy offers a corporate wellness program along with his shred. 365 online training program. If you want more info, go to TommyEurope.tv and we'll be right back after the break. Let me give this another try.